The fox talks to me. Darkness settled when the earth was still young. He says, you are more powerful than you can possibly imagine. When you do what you think is right, true magic will find its way to you. Maybe it is our minds that speak to each other. I saved him, he tells me. I summoned the spirit fox within him. He couldn't find himself. He is now bound to me until I release him. Lavender gave me my very own field notebook. In these pages, I will record everything I discover, for I am now a true archivist. I've always wondered about those tall trees in the distance. And today, because I am 18, I get to explore there. Rare plants and creatures must thrive under the cover of those branches. Under cover of these lush grasses, I may study the woods around me and the life it accommodates. The dear creature I found was a fox, and it was dying. Blood streaming from the strangest bite marks I'd ever seen. What madness lurks in these woods? Lavender taught me about the spirit animals, and I remember the fox only reveals itself at times of great change. A creature this size must mean a terrible transition of some sorts. The fox talks to me. He sensed my presence in the forest. You are more powerful than you can possibly imagine, Rosalind. He spoke softly. I believe I am the only one that can hear him. Maybe it is our minds that speak to each other. I saved him, he tells me. I summoned the spirit fox within him. He couldn't find himself. And he is now bound to me until I release him. When the smell of mint drifts on the air, I spot a green jasper nearby. They follow me around, no matter where I go. It turns out the vault holds no king. But it tells the story of the Black Baron who came from a foreign land. He had such high-end technological equipment and protective armor. He was indestructible. 